Hi, my name is Jeff Sammons. I'm going to be teaching your online patient positioning one class this year. I'll also have half of you for the uh, lab class. It will be on Wednesday afternoons. So I'll get a chance to work with about half of you one on one um, in the uh, academic setting as well. A few of you I'll see at Kaiser and I'll be able to uh, train you actually on a day to day basis um, from one semester to the next. Um, I did want to say welcome, um, a little bit of an introduction. Uh, as I said, my name is Jeff Sammons. Um, I'm a graduate of the Mesa College program, so I know a lot about, about what you're getting into right now. Um, I've been a tech for 22 years, and I've been teaching for 14 years now. I've taught this class multiple times. The online class this is the second time through for me for this class, so it should be a little bit user-friendly this year as opposed to last year, which is a little bit, I would say, a little disorganized, but uh, we've kind of ironed out the kinks and hopefully it'll be much easier time for me and you this semester. Um, I've worked in general diagnostic for most of that amount of time. I've done lithotripsy as well. Um, I did some CT when I was at the hospital. So I've got a few different modalities under my belt. Um, what's nice about this program and actually this career is that once you get your general license, you're able to kind of go into different parts of the field. You can go into CT or MRI. If you want to continue your schooling and get into like uh, nuclear medicine or ultrasound or radiation therapy, that's about an extra year of school. Um, you have to apply to those programs as well, and they accept a very low amount. But, you know, if you have the grades, you've been doing well, and you've shown yourself to be a good student, and hopefully you'll be able to get into one of those programs too. But for now, we want to get you through this two years. Um, it's a challenging program, I have to say. It's not easy. For some of you, it'll be a, a big shock to kind of go into this program because it's a full-time program. It's a combination of uh, classroom work as well as um, an internship uh, where you'll be going to a clinical site and kind of working with your clinical instructor and actually doing a hands-on how to actually do x-rays on patients. So you'll get your patients and you'll have to basically do what you're learning in your positioning classes. Um, between those things, you know, what you learn in the clinic and what you learn in the classroom sometimes is a little bit different, but the idea and the centering points, um, the collimation, uh, you mostly learn that at school, and then hopefully you don't pick up too many bad habits uh, from certain techs that like to do things uh, with a lot of shortcuts. They don't shield their patients. Um, a lot of different areas on there, but we'll get into that during the semester. You kind of find that out on your own. I uh, apologize for the crappy lighting here. Um, we just painted this room and the lighting we just kind of added on, so not the best picture on here, um, but we'll get through it for the purpose of this introduction on here. Um, I did want to introduce myself just so you know who you're kind of uh, communicating to. Um, my uh, email is always open, so you can always contact me through either Blackboard or through the uh, email that will be listed on the syllabus uh, for both classes. Um, I will have office hours during the semester. Typically I have those right before the test so that you can come in, you can kind of practice, um, ask, get any questions that you haven't gotten answered uh, fully out of the way, and maybe a little extra time uh, evaluating uh, film images, and just basically seeing how things are going during the semester. What I will say is you should get a calendar as soon as you can and make sure that you are very organized during the semester. I know most of you think you're organized, but with all the extra things, with the classes that you have to keep track of, the clinical hours, um, as well as your work schedule, if you are working a little bit, uh, family get-togethers, soccer practices, all those things you need to make sure that you're very organized and you keep them um, in your calendar on a week-to-week -week basis. It's uh, 16 weeks to get through the semester. You want to treat that as just a basically semester by semester case at a time because um, it will be a little bit challenging to make sure that you get 75% and all of your classes are above. You need to do that to continue. So make sure that you don't fall behind. Um, some students will get overwhelmed um, they're working too much, don't have enough study time, so you really need to kind of evaluate uh, what you're getting into and what you think you can handle. Uh, if you need to apply for loans or whatever to get through the program, it's probably a good idea because you, at the end of this program, you'll actually have a career, not just another job that you'll be working. Um, once you get into this career, you can go into many different fields, like we mentioned. Uh, you can go to CT, MRI, ultrasound, med, radiation therapy, applications, education, um, and a few other different modalities, including surgery, um, ortho specialists. So it's a lot of different avenues you can go into once you have your basic license. But as I said, you do need to get your two-year um, uh, two program certificate out of the way first. Um, 
Another piece of advice I would have is to make sure that you attend all of your classes. Uh, make sure that you don't get behind in your clinic days as well. We've had some students kind of drop the program because they didn't finish their hours during the semester. So you want to make sure that you stay on top of it the best you can and try not to take days off unless you are sick. You know, we can't avoid that. Um, this program is a bit taxing. You know, it is two years long, so invariably something is going to happen in life. Life doesn't stop just because you're in college and you have a program. You know, people get sick. You might get sick. Um, there may be accidents. Um, things come up. So, you know, you have to be aware of these things and try to work ahead the best you can. If you're working ahead, then you can afford to take a day off or a week off if something comes up. But generally, you need to make sure that you are in class um, each day. Um, that you're checking in online regularly so you're not missing any assignments. Because if you miss an assignment, then you're going to get zero points on there, unfortunately. This isn't the same as a classroom setting where we remind you on a week-to-week -week basis what's coming up and what's due. Basically online, you're going to see the learning module that's going to pop up every Sunday evening, and it's going to have all of your assignments during the week. And it's up to you to get all those assignments done, including your quizzes, any tests that are posted on there. So. There will be additional assignments on there, including discussion boards. We might have some wikis. Uh, we'll have some journal entries that you'll have to make. Um, but generally, nothing too hard. So if you're a little um, wary of being on, in an online class, um, we'll get you through it all right. It's, we'll be very specific on our instructions and uh, what we expect from each one of you. So if you have questions, certainly ask me um, through email or just send me a message, and I can help you clear all those things up. Um, I will say the graduation day is my favorite day of the year. The students just graduated earlier this month, so they've all kind of um, been taking their tests recently in the last week, and you know they're having good success on that. Everyone's passed so far, so I'm happy about that. They're going to be able to start working uh, soon, so you know it's kind of a culmination of their two years of hard work, actually resulting in jobs, and then they can actually start and kind of earn the money that they want to earn, and you know. Not have to worry about school anymore and studying. They can really just focus on, you know, going to work, giving great customer ser service, and also um, shooting high quality images to kind of help the entire healthcare process along for each particular patient. So, if you have any particular questions during the semester, don't be afraid to ask. Send me an email, um, or if you happen to be in my classroom, just go ahead and ask questions away on there. I think the other laboratory is before mine, so if you happen to be in the earlier lab, you can certainly hang around, um, and before I get to class at 1 o'clock, you can ask me questions on that as well. Um, and like I said, office hours are going to be open to everybody, so you know, keep on top of those announcements that I sent through. I'll let you know when the, the uh, office hours are ahead of time. And if you need to see me before those kind of tests that come up, then we can certainly arrange some office hours as well. Typically, those are going to be Wednesday. Um, after 4.10 when the class ends. If you have particular questions or you just want to work on something or you just want to see something again, maybe like an admin x-ray or positioning for shoulders when we get to all that. So make sure that you are uh, getting your questions answered um, and that you're staying on top of these things. I also want to mention that my wife and I are expecting our first child, so I will be off for part of the semester, probably in about four weeks, um, and I'll be off for probably four to six weeks uh, following that. So I will have a substitute in my lab class, uh, online class. I'm going to have that pretty well set up, so I will have a substitute for that, but I'll still be able to answer emails and kind of keep on top of that stuff um, while I'm on paternity leave. So if you have any questions, it might take a little bit longer for me to get back to you, but I'll definitely try to answer those questions as soon as possible. So I just want to say good luck. Um, it's an exciting program to be in. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting uh, all of you at some point during this semester. Um, so make sure you introduce yourself. Um, part of the assignment on the first online assignment is to send a picture through and kind of getting to know you kind of assignment on there. So uh, feel free to add what you'd like to add, and I will meet you soon enough on campus. Okay. Good luck with the program, and I will see you soon.